The guest of honor has arrived. Another big interview with Anile in the club on 947. <laughs> This is Nopolo. It's the most surreal experience having the opportunity to work with someone you've admired since you were a child. I remember walking in the hallways of the SABC and being in complete awe of simply being in your presence. You would always greet warmly, flashing your radiant smile without hesitation. A legendary and incomparable news anchor and storyteller, you have narrated our story as a nation with infinite skill, distinction, poise and gravitas. Mm. We're so fortunate to have watched and learned from you. Mostly, Mrs. Nokolo, thank you so much for your kindness, humility, and generosity to all who cross your path. And just like that, uh, that is Nikio Pikicha. Eh? Can you hear about it? It's one of your many prodigies that you have put on the streets of journalism in this country, Mam Nokolo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is one of your children. You call them your children, eh? Yes, yes. No doubt. Listen, I just want a huge round of applause. Mam Nokolo is in the building. Yeah. There you go. Also known as The Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Anele. <laughs> Tell us why you are called The Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I've lost count mm. of the many funerals of prominent struggle stalwarts mm. that I've covered. It all started with Ikomani Selkulu, mm. Ukrisani. Krisani. Then it was Joe Slovo. Mm. It was O.R. Mm. It was Steve Twete. It was Tatum Beki. It was Sabelo Palma. It was Tatu Nelson Mandela. Mamui mm. Mandela. I mean, think of any stalwart mm. that has passed on. The undertaker was there. <laughs> <laughs> so, someone said, then, look, I'm not saying anything, but every time someone passes away, this not follows there. So <laughs> we must discuss this sometime. One of these days, must eat it in. And then one, one of the guys, I don't know how this undertaker name got out, but one of the guys in the office uh. just said, we undertake. <laughs> I want to sound like young man. <laughs> and it's the thing. It's, it, it's definitely a thing. I, I mean, I was um, thinking last night as you were doing the final bulletin and, you know, that Dinitanda no and, Makai and those words wrapped it. But to be fair, the words that started your career were three words. Hal, har, in. Hal, har, in. No, Tembigile, you were telling me the story. What happened? So, uh, Mama's been telling the story, right? How she arrived at the SABC in the 80s as a typist, mm -hmm. originally, right? Mm. Quietly doing her work. And then one thing led to another, there was a crisis. Mm. Um, and everyone was in a panic mm. because they didn't have an anchor for the East Closa Current broadcast affairs. that day. Current yeah. affairs. Yes. Okay. And Mama will take it from there. So you are there now. You, and you even said I you weren't even dressed well. I was, I was a secretary. Uh. I have to mention his name mm. to Mr. Henny Van Veg. Uh. We called him Matai Tai. <laughs> you know, that's that's how cool he was. Hal Har in. And Matai Tai apparently got in the studio and everybody was panicking. Mm. We have to go on air. Kokeli Tanda is not around. Mm. We don't have a presenter. Come on. What's your problem? You've got a presenter. I get a closer and make an tour. Al R N. I like it. Like the I get a closer and make an tour like he's kept in a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> By the filing system under X. Oh, <laughs> there's a closer. There's a closer. No there. color. I don't know if she can do this, but she speaks the language. Let's go. <laughs> You know what I've always wanted, especially now, and Frankie, you would know this because, you know, the media industry is like that. You, you, you spend a bit of time here and a bit of time there and a bit of time there. 37 years at the SABC. Did you never want to go to 
In fact, let me ask it this way. Do you have DSTV? Do you know about it? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of ENCI? <laughs> but there are other channels. I'm embarrassed. I'm a child of the 60s. How? Anele. Every time I look at you, you are just like the quintessential face of SABC One. So I'm like, we are as about Mnet, my corner. No, I'm Zanzi you know, CNN, you know. Are you aware of these other channels? Anele, are you aware of that thing called loyalty? Yes. Let's leave it at that. So did no one ever come to you to want to give you a job anywhere else? Many did. Really? Oh, yes. Are you going to tell I'm us who? I'm not going to mention names. Oh, come on. No way. No. No. No ways. No ways. And what would you do? Would you, would you say this, uh, uh, politely decline? You know, like, no, I'm, I'm not eating that today. You see, you see, you see, Anele, it's a pity you know my name as Unokolo. Mm. Mna. According to Um Sebenzwam, I looked at me and my name as Isikosa. Mm. And if you wanted me to come and work within your organization, you must make sure that there is Isikosa. Oh. And if Isikosa is right there underneath where someone had to search for it and wake up there, early in the morning mm -mm. to watch Anna. That's not you. That's not my cup of tea. That's my, 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 I want to be where is it called Sasana mm. will be uplifted. It's uh, because even last night during the, the bulletin and in your final say there were a few phrases that you used in this Kosa that I had to call my dad. <laughs> what was she saying? Hey, please translate. And then he was like, he told me a bit, and then he's like, the next one, ask my older brother, who is eight years old. He's like, this cosa sabo is. He will know this. And then I call them, and and I also remember you saying that you you know you were so intentional about your bulletins because you just didn't want to give the news. You wanted to leave us with a little bit of homework to go and find out what does this mean? What does this mean when she says this? When did you decide to be that intentional? It couldn't have been at Hal Har Inn. You know, it, 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 it built as you, as you read more and more and you realize the power and the platform that you have. When did that happen? You see, as soon as I stepped in, I realized that my role was to develop mm. is it closer. Okay. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And plant a seed in Anele. What you did. Yeah. So that U Anele can be interested. If I throw in a phrase that Uanele doesn't know or understand, I've always hoped that Uanele would go out and, and search out. and find out the meaning of that phrase. Well, that's exactly And if Uanele good. did, then job well done. Job. How did you decide you're retiring? What happened that morning? What did you eat so we can also make sure <laughs> not to eat it? <laughs> I made a conscious decision, Anele, that at 60, Oh. I'm calling it a day. At 60, I'm calling it a day when I still have energy to be a jola with my husband. Mm. Because throughout the years, I mean, the SAPC has hurt me. Mm. And yeah, I be fumana this and that. Secondary. On the side. Yeah. Every do, now and then. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And, and you know, my children. I'm ashamed to say this. I never attended a single school meeting. Sure. Oh. I even missed one of my children's metric dance. I don't remember helping them with e homework. My husband was there mm. doing all that for them, cooking for them. I remember one time I cooked bab at home. Mm. And they were like, yo, hi, mama, do still we That cooks better pop than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, papa, why is your pop white? <laughs> <laughs> Papa's pop is brown. <laughs> she puts in, he puts in beef stock. Oh, he flavor. Yeah, boy. So I was like, girl, uh, girl. But do, do, I mean, you, you've always struck me somebody who comes from a very, from a place of love, and that's why you give love so easily. And when you're telling us this, that you know you missed the metric dances, you missed the, the school plays, you missed the sports days and all of that, how do you 
quickly come back from guilt to be on TV and then show us no remorse and no guilt and as if everything is fine. Each job, each job, Usman. Oh, you should know better. I, I, and I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I do. Did it? E Kong and EFT did it. <laughs> exactly. We are happy. Yeah. Each job, each job, job, each job, each job mm. And your kids never said anything. Your husband never said anything to them. It was just like, mom belongs to us and the world. Yes. Mm. That they understood very well. My daughter even said that, um, I think your house is too small. For, for, the, for the thousands of children Millions. that you have out there. I think your house is too small. A friend of mine's dad, after watching your bulletin, said he misses his Cressida. Because <laughs> 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 everyone's dad drove a Cressida yes. back then. Yes. <laughs> like, a Cressida and a skyline. <laughs> you know, things like that. Well, what will you miss the most about being the voice of the Kosanese? Annele, you must realize that um, 37 years is no child's play. I'm 37 years old, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In case you're wondering. I don't feel good about leaving mm. the SAPC because Isitro Sagum was like a baby. Mm. I've nurtured Isitro you know, Dasibugela Sikinga, Dasibugela Sipagama, Dasibugela Sibalega. What kind of mother abandons their own babies? Their own babies. The Oyega Mlaumbi, I'm a police, I will be after me soon. Child line is going to call you. Like, hi, hi, excuse me, you left your child here. Yeah? Hey, when? So, come hey, your child. Come your child. Guilty as charged. <laughs> you know, I feel so bad. It's like, you know, something has been ripped, mm. you know, off me. Mm. You know, I, I feel bad. It's, it's a deep wound. Well, this is why we're doing this show today, because we want to forget, to make you forget about how sore this moment is, and we mm. just want to celebrate. We've got a lot of surprises for you. Uh, we've got a lot of voice notes. A lot of people want to come and celebrate you. So for the next hour, please stay with us as we make this the Nokolo Khrodbom Day. What you are currently listening to on 947, uh, last night reading her final bulletin after 37 years. And Frankie, you said something to me and you're like, you know, you, you don't understand Kosa, but you just want to listen to her. Yes. Well, I mean, you, you can hear the authority in her voice uh, listening to the last bulletin last night. I mean, I, I, I don't understand all the words. I catch a word here or there. Mm -hmm. But I could hear that breaking voice. You know, oh. you could see that. You just hear the emotion in this last bulletin. And I think it's incredible that, uh, it, like... I always say to Anel as well, we, they don't make them like you anymore. They don't. Mom. Like, the, you know, <laughs> like there are a few broadcasters, specifically at SABC News, mm. who have done the kind of careers that you've done in that building. And mm. like, that doesn't exist anymore. The kind of authority. I would say it's a finite list. It's one of two. It's her and Rian Greibachen. Exactly. And, both, and, and the thing is, with both uh, her and Rian, yeah. the, the cultural identity that was forced through yeah. that news in both Afrikaans and Isikosa. Like, incredible. It's, it's amazing, Mum. So, Mama, uh, there's something you said, Auntie, di koiteni nin fagikiw. Is that what you said? <laughs> Roughly translated, put salt on me and make me biltong. Why is that? Preserve me. Preserve me. Ah, right. Di koiteni nin fagikiw. But was, uh, wasn't that your magic, Mum? The fact that, I, I think what stood out is, it, the news in this course, when you were on, it wasn't just a series of direct translations. Mm. There was effort put into the presentation, capturing the meaning, but in a creative way. It sounded like poetry almost. I always say, when you, when you translate news, you don't translate from word to word. Mm. You understand? You only translate from understanding. Mm. And then if you do that, the script will speak to you first. Mm. before it speaks to the ones listening at home. Mm. And it spoke to us. Thank you. And when you preserve you, we allow the next generation of people to come in and be able to know, you know where to pick up from. And this is why this moment is important. There are four ladies who just walked into the studio right now. Melanie Bala of SABC News, Lerato Mbele, who was at SABC News. <laughs> And then she, now she's at BBC, and we're obsessed with her, Hulisani Ravele, who's also celebrated 20 years in the industry recently. And then Zizobeta, 
who won Miss Teen South Africa and then ultimately used that platform to be who she is right now, currently uh, co-hosting the drive on Msabo Wenene. Ladies, please step up to the microphone. Lerata, I want you first. What is this moment for you at this moment? As Lerata Mbale. <laughs> I am saluting you. I am bowing before you. When I started as a journalist at SABC, before going to BBC, you were one of the veterans in that newsroom. It was a difficult newsroom to work in because we had to manage issues of credibility, accountability, transparency, and we also wanted to be creative. And we were young cub journalists with big dreams and we needed role models in that newsroom. People who would speak truth to authority. Mm. People who would challenge us to step up to the plate. People who'd say, baby, you are good enough. You can do it, you're gonna be somebody one day. You were that person for me and for my generation. You said to me, you are young, but one day, one day you're going to be somebody. Ngoe, the good BBC World Television, Yini. What's that same place? She's still such a flame, hey. She's beautiful. What's that same place? It's not color. Thank you for everything, for everything you were to us, and thank you always in the newsroom when you shared your candy with us. <laughs> you know, she'd she'd walk around that newsroom because English news, Kosa news, Sutu news, we all shared one space. Yeah. I think it was on the third floor. So if she had donuts, yeah. it was for everybody. Oh, yes. She had hot cross buns after Easter, it was for <laughs> everybody. Yes. And she'd make sure you're fed, you know? And I grew up in a, in a world, and it was the wrong world, where women competed. Yeah. Where women didn't yeah. say to each other, you're beautiful, you're talented. Yeah. And you taught us in that cutthroat media world that women lift up other women, that women honor other women, that women compliment other women. And you lived that truth, and you were an example of it every day. Oh, you did that so well, Lerato. Congratulations. Oh, that outside broadcast, you kept us abreast. That was you. You showed us that there's enough sunshine for everyone. There we go. Melanie, come on. You know, you know I want to hear from you. Melanie Vala. Like you're, you're, you're crying already there, Anela. Just a little. No, somebody cut onions in oh, here earlier. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, sis, I don't know where to start. I think for me, it's really just about, you know, when they say someone is so good at what they do that they make it look effortless. Mm -hmm. And I think you're the personification of that. To have a career in broadcasting at this level for 37 years is unbelievable. We very often take for granted that the years of experience and mm. expertise and the calmness, the professionalism, the class that you presented the news with is just something I think that lives in everyone, which is why your retirement, I think, has touched so many people mm. because you're part of the fabric of our lives. Yes. You're part of the fabric of our lives, our parents' lives, grandparents' lives. And as a news broadcaster, I want to say thank you for setting such a wonderful example a wonderful example for women who are coming up after you behind you we aspire mm. to have careers mm. like you in broadcasting mm. we really really do thank you so very much we've got the blueprint mama <laughs> those are your kids speaking what what do you want to say to them let them all talk <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna announce this now we're gonna run a little bit late for headlines huli sunny you coming up <laughs> um mama to watch you on our screens and for you to go beyond the screen. Ah, That's what you did. There we go. You have a career that has purpose, that has power. It has impacted so many of us in so many ways. There will be so many tears in so many homes tonight <laughs> when you do that last bulletin. And it's because it was so much more than news, Mama. You gave us hope. You sat there in that chair every night. And at the end of that bulletin was, <laughs> you know? And it felt like just words. And it might have been just words to people, but it wasn't, Mama. Mm. Thank you for being the light that you are. Thank you for standing so that the rest of us can run. Oh. 
and Koska Kulma Prolibua. And I'm just so grateful that we can do this and celebrate you whilst you're still here. Yes. So, yes. so grateful. So, and Koska Mama and Upumula Mama. Tell Zoya Jola. I'm going to rest, Mama. I didn't tell Jola, no, me and you are. I'm dating my husband now. Jola, Mama, you deserve it all, Mama. And of course, it's Yabule. Thank you, baby. Miss Chete. Mama Kunzi Mukbanda Benga walk a bell teta. Um and I do need to remember to speak English but Nibe Kisakuwe. Um I think Isakono is one thing. The talent was evident always. But I think for me you were an extension of the kind of dignity that our parents, our moms in particular held. Siti Kasi Jong Yuena Sabone Umze Gelo that we could bring who we are to what we do. And what we do impacts so many people. Sifundi like a cool look away, Mama Siabulela. Um and when you said we are sitanda you may have thought it was just words, but for some people, that was the only I love you they ever heard. Wow. Homes, uh, first of all, and the guy 37 years, it's the end of an era. Literally, you have been on air longer than I have been alive. So we have grown up with you in our homes. And in every black home, you know, I talk this in the end of seven o'clock. On the dot at seven o'clock, the news is on. So, Mama, Ungu, Mama, Kuti, it's not just a word. It's it's something that we have truly experienced. But we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts, Mama. Thank you so much. All right, Mama, I'm going to give you a moment to compose yourself. Tembikile, give us the headlines. Uh, when we come back, we have another surprise for her. Uh, we did something yesterday, uh, a little bit on the... On the on, on the risque side, but man, I am excited about it. I, I, can't, I can't wait for everyone to see this. I, I haven't seen it yet. I just know what it is. And I think this is spectacular. Easily one of the most emotional shows we have ever done. And I think that's what happens when you take 37 years of absolute talent, consistency, passion, authenticity, and you wrap it up in one person and you just let him loose on the rest of the country. I mean, that's the thing. You can't. You can't <laughs> just talk about 37 years. It's a lifetime. Uh, the amount of emotion in this room with all these wonderful women yeah. coming to pay tribute. That's incredible. Uh, can I ask you, what are you like when you're angry? Because we have just seen the calm. All we've seen is calm, right? I want to know when. What are you like when you're angry? <laughs> you don't want to know. Verse <laughs> captain. <laughs> you know, um, okay, it's fine. Let me, let me, let me tell South Africa. Mm. what they do not know that i am epileptic oh and the best way to make sure that my epilepsy is under control is to control my emotions if i'm over excited it's too dangerous for me wow if I'm very angry, like just to, like, if I'm very angry, I must control my emotions. Sure. If I were to win, <laughs> I must just say, Anele, mm, you, you can't be like, Anele, you know, you have no, to, you know, no. oh, wow. I, 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 I have to control my emotions all the time because that's what causes a feat. Uh, uh. So thanks to epilepsy, no one will ever see me angry. But at those moments when I lose myself, I get angry at myself. Yeah. I get angry at myself. So it's rare that you'll ever see me angry. My emotions are always under control. And I need to anel. I'm mother of peace, man. Come on. <laughs> no call. Do not call. No name means anel. mother of peace. My name means mother of peace. And you know, and you, you spoke about this earlier, about the loyalty that you have to the SABC. But I mean, let's be honest. The SABC has seen many a turn. You know, it's, it's been good, it's been bad, and then it's good again. I worked at the SABC for five years, and I felt that those were the best years of my life as well. It was like the heyday of the SABC. Mm. But, you know, it just goes through these ebbs and flows. How did you manage that? Because you're there, people are looking to you for hope, looking to you for reassurance. And, you know, there's this organization that you've known to be other things, and now it's other things, and, you know, it's just... Sometimes I kazi, you know, what, what's happening. How would you handle that and keep your head about you? 
Uyaz Anele, when you when you are passionate, mm. I, I'm speaking about myself. Mm. When you are passionate about what you are doing, you will go to any lengths to make sure that nothing distracts you from what is important mm. at mm. that particular time. Yeah. You know, my, my, my job and my mission was to elevate Olululuimilwen. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah, it was clear. And the best platform for me to do that was the SAPC. Unfortunately or fortunately, mm. whichever way you want to take it. I love that because for everything wrong with what we, we always hear about the SAPC, you are saying, but this is still the best platform. But this is still the best platform for me yeah. to, to, to say to, to the young generation, Isikosa is your heritage. Look what Isikosa has done for me. Isikosa has put food on my table. I'm not a trained journalist. You get what I'm trying it's to say? It's your language that was your degree. It's, 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 it's my language and the love of it that was my degree. It put food on my table. It educated Abantuanabam. You get what I'm trying mm. to say? It made Unokolo who, he, who she is today. If it was not because of Isikosa, would you have invited me here today? Mm. Would you? you? No, I wouldn't have. That's the exactly. honest truth. <laughs> That's the honest <laughs> truth. Exactly. So why did you never get, um, I'm sure you turned them down, but I'm curious, like a, a L'Oreal endorsement, a face of something, because you're so beautiful and we, and we would, would buy anything that you say you use, but I never saw you sell anything commercially. Why did, was that a conscious decision? Anyway, well, I've never received an offer. Ninja, hello, okay, South Africa. I've never received. Phone lines are I've open. Never, I've never, I've never received any offer to endorse any. The bidding starts now. 011-8838. <laughs> We're starting at 5 million. Let's go. <laughs> Do you know why? Because you did a True Love cover in 1994. Yeah, you, did, you shot something for True Love in 1994. I've got the photo shoot, right? Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful, and you are in a white suit. You don't remember, so I'm going to remind you. You're in a white suit with very big hair. And in fact, so what I decided is I took that and I recreated that photo shoot. So I had the suit made for myself, and I got the hair, and I, I did the makeup, the terrible eyebrows. So <laughs> So it's not, it's not 37 years. How much is it? It's 20... 20 something. 94 is 27. 27 years. 27 years. So this is 27 years ago, and then I nail it today. Everybody, please move closer towards the screen. <laughs> so there's mom on the left, and then I nail it on the right. <laughs> Aren't we grateful for the just the progress made in wig making? I nail it. Mommy. <laughs> and that's the original oh, suit, eh? That's the original suit. I, well, I had one made because you're smaller than me. Uh, but I, but I, <laughs> I have the original suit because when I was looking for it, the person who styled it still has it. And it was, they went to go get it somewhere. So they took it and they re my, my designer then replicated it. And that's what we got. And then I had to find the necklace and the necklace has a brooch on I it. I have to get that suit. I, I, I can give it to you. It's yours. I can. Do you want it? Sure. Uh, you know what's crazy? What? She'll still fit into it. Of course, this is the thing. It might be a little loose, actually. Yeah. It might be loose. So we've printed it out for you. You're going to take this home with you, and I'm going to get you that suit. This is yours, Mama. Wow! <laughs> Anela, you don't do this to a pensioner. <laughs> Anela, I'm an old lady. Yes, Mama. Yeah, I'm an old lady. Yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. fragile. Yes, fragile. <laughs> so these are the gifts to you and uh, wow. there was one lady who really wanted to be here this morning but sadly she's also on A on SABC2, uh, Leanne Manners. So here are a little bit of words from her. Nathalo, having the privilege of watching you for as many years as we as South Africans have, it brings great sadness to say goodbye to you at the SABC. You have seen news events in this country unfold that I don't think anybody has had the privilege to do, but the fact that you've been able to tell us the story as we've navigated through this has been amazing. You're an icon. I think you are 
just incredible and one of a kind, and we are going to miss you so much. I will always cherish the memory of being able to work with you during the uh, days leading up to and around the funeral of Tata Madiba. Nobody could tell the story better than you. And to work in the same building with you has been a privilege. May God bless you. May God bless your family. And I wish you everything of the success when you go into your retirement. Nine four seven. Hey, just checking in. I'm guessing you out with the girls. I saw your car's not here. Mm. Anyway, just send me a WhatsApp when you're on your way home or a missed call. Okay, you girls have fun. Miss you. It's not just about you. Their fears go with you. If you drink, never drive. A message brought to you by the Association for Alcohol Responsibility and Education and the Road Traffic Management Corporation. Meet RNB. Gabby is a resources sector specialist. Sounds like you're not here, and I sent him a text. Right. Are you at Mont? Yes, yes. Do you want me to send you our picture? Yes, please. That's what we took years ago. Yes, please. And then I rushed. <laughs> we are about to say goodbye to Mama, but wait, there is more. One, one fine gentleman yeah, just walked just in. No, he just drove past here, figured he'd have to just come say hi. Wait, let me say it the way he would say it. You know, I was sleeping in my 10 million rand mansion, <laughs> and then I heard on my bow system that... <laughs> 947 has got a queen on her hand and I decided to drive out of my multi-million rand estate and drive down in my G63. Never! <laughs> in my Euros. Oh, in my Lamborghini Euros. <laughs> oh, no, 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 sorry. Bentley. Bentley, Bentley. <laughs> Zini, doesn't even Zini, know. Zini, doesn't so matter. Many. Yeah. I, I, I took my Bentayga <laughs> and I came to this multi well, hundred million development of Monte Casino and I said I want to speak to my mother. So, Mizi, thank you so much for popping Yo, in. Anele, mm. I was never ready. So I hear you on the radio. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna hear you. Then I'm in, in my pantry looking for something to give because the, 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 the flower shops are closed. Mm, mm. I'm like, what do I give her? Pots. She's she gonna be offended. What do I give her? <laughs> and Louis Vuitton bag, no, she's not that materialistic. <laughs> and then I see, ah, I see a plant on the table. I like, take the plant. And then I've got two bottles of champagne that are limited. Ne? Yeah. They are mine. I'm like, this would be the best gift to give to her, to yeah. share. Now there's only two. One is hers, one is mine. And I couldn't have missed it. But the beauty about when we're listening, like, she is smelling her flowers while she's still alive. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced. Oh, me too. Mama, so means it walks in. What goes through your mind? There is not a single show that I that he acted in ending as and the attend. I'm sure he doesn't even remember me. I've got a picture that I took with him in Market Theatre. Mm. I think Babi Nani Gwisarafina so I was twelve. Oh yes. Sure. I'm gonna give him that picture. 
Thank you. When you guys drink that bottle of champagne together. No, we, we can't open it now. Where in 10 years? No, she must open it when, when she's ready. Okay. Like, it's one of those <laughs> special <laughs> moments. Uh, so vintage. Uh, uh. It's vintage limited edition. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 I'm going to eat benefits for 37 years. <laughs> So busy, but you know. Okay, so we have got uh, a voice note and then Tembekele is going to wrap things up for us. Chriselda Lewis would like to say something to you. This is, is Chriselda Lewis from the SABC newsroom. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it this morning, but that doesn't take away from watching you last night during your last bulletin and remembering why we do what we do. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for all the years of inspiring. We grew up as young people watching you on television and little did we know that we would work with you one day and you'd be such an inspiration to us. You showed us the ropes and in case the listeners didn't know, you even advised us when we were having some problems with our boyfriends. Thank you so much, Mama, for everything. We will always look back to the values that you instilled in us. And those values are what will guide us as young people to carry this baton forward. In course, Mama, thank you for everything. I mean, I've spoken to Mama for the past hour now, so uh, another person who was besides himself when I told him that you're coming on to the show is Tembegile Mkhototo, oh. who, who in my opinion is your, you are handing over the baton to him. I think we're still gonna see the biggest of things from you, Tembegile. So I'd like for you to take this moment to like a good black uncle, a vote of thanks. <laughs> so much pressure. Um, I don't often get starstruck, but I cannot believe that I'm sitting this morning right across my idol. Mm. I remember being six, seven years old, a kid on those red plastic chairs at 7.30 in a two-roomed house in Bloemfontein. I'd always pull out my chair at 7.30 and repeat every word you said. <gasps> And I didn't even know that I'd ever meet you, but I just wanted you, know, you to know that I am sitting here because of you. You birthed a realization in me of my gift. Mm. I don't think I would have been aware that this is what I was called to do had it not been for you. And I also want to thank you for, and we've never met before, but in the last two, three years, for just always reaching out once in a while. I remember getting a call from you. I was on an Uber. <laughs> And then all I heard was, Hello, Mdanam. Kumam no kolo. And you're like, I know so many no kolos, but I knew which one it was. <laughs> and on behalf of everyone else who is in news, who's a news anchor today, I want to thank you mm. for being the gold standard. And long after all of us are gone, you will continue to be that gold standard, the woman who set the standard for every broadcaster in South Africa, what we all want to be. You've carried yourself over 37 years with integrity, grace, generosity. Not a single person mm. has come forward to say, in your 37 years at the SABC, you are unkind or spoke a mean-spirited word. And I just hope that as I grow in the industry, I can achieve and be half of what you are today. Nguasman. Mama. It's your turn now to wrap it up for us. Uh, I'm sure Nizagotuka, when I say, Apilele Mkale, I'm lost for words. But allow me just to be brief and say, in Isikosa, Kulolonge Elikweza, Lindi Memileyo Namhlanje. This was a divine appointment. Jambule luteko, kabantu abafana nani. Abantu abayitinga hayo indoko kubana, atumdu esapila, benze ilizwi, lombule lu. I feel, ukuba, I am experiencing what I can call a living funeral. Mm. And right now, I'm going to tell my husband when I get home that no speeches at my funeral. Mm. 
ashumayele bandi tate bayo beke mangwa beni diyoku pumla. You have said, is it that I normally hear? Abantu belele ngomkolo belindele ukwamkela umhlaba yezifuba zabo but nina and the rest of south africa is saying all those things to me whilst i'm still alive i feel blessed i feel blessed and i think ubukobam a south africa nge ira and kale ukuba kongayo to the present moment was a divine appointment. It cannot be anyone mm. but God showing off His grace, His love, and His greatness. Tianbule la bantuanaba. Nanga, ninga tingalo longi kaisha. Ainge, gobu busu kuba namhlanje Niti ngalo longi kaisha bando anabamu. Kanyo ubegi nchoko. Mindele ni zamba ayo. Utiko anikusele guzikinje lozo chaba. Zeniti kanyo ubega matala. Nilale nombete ingu boyo tando. Utolo. Nemvisi swani. Da ushala ndini tanda. Galo longi kaisha. And on that note, the great tree will leave, yeah, but like she says that now her life begins. For the first time now she's living life for herself and I'm just going to say what I said last night on Instagram that if people ask, you must tell them that we walked in the time of Nong Oloch Rodboam. Whoever asks will tell them that Tina, when we were living, when we were broadcasting, yes. we walked with giants, man. Yes, we walked with Nong Oloch Rodboam. Yes. Um, yes. 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 Yes.